Hi, I'm Rabbi David Aaron, the author of Seeing God, and I'm here to share with you more secrets to love, spiritual growth, and personal power. The question that I constantly get is what really gives a person a true sense of value in the world? You know, when you think about it, we are much less than one five billionth of a speck of dust in the universe. And that's really quite shocking when you think and you realize that in this huge world, there are about five billion people living here. So how does a person really feel value? And yet, even though everything from without tells us we're nothing, what is it within us that tells us we're something? And what's in us that tells us we're something is the soul. The ancients teach us that we are souls. And what is a soul? A soul is really a part of God. Now, of course, God doesn't break up into parts. But if God were the sun, we would be rays of his light. And yet, it's so amazing. If you get in touch with yourself, you realize that there's something about godly greatness that is looking to become manifest in the world through you. You know, a lot of people think that somehow spirituality is all about taking the material and elevating it and making it more spiritual, and that's what our life is about. But the ancients teach us that really our goal is to take the spiritual and materialize it. We are here because there's something about divine quality, something about God's power and value that is seeking to become concrete and present in this world through you. And that's the meaning of a service-driven life. The secret to real happiness is to find your service. What is it about God that you have come into this world to bring in this world? Justice is a very abstract value. Love is a very abstract power. But when you take that power and you turn it into a hug, you turn it into a smile, then what you've actually done is brought, so to speak, the presence of God in the world. And the more you bring the presence of God in the world, the greater your life feels gifted. So I thank you for listening, and I look forward, as always, to hearing your comments, and I wish you much success in your journey.